everybody. Finally got what I need. I, at least I hope so. I'm going to try to hook up my little farmer rigging stuff the best I can. Sometimes I'll wrap the chains up together. So that way you don't take a chance of uh, dragging the chains. I think that's good enough. Where's my, there it is, my fancy little safety cable thing. Man, this thing's going to be long. wrap this guy in the chains in, or at least go through it, one of the links. There, I think we'll be safe, something like that. It is currently 5.01 p.m. Uh, Saturday and it is currently 32 degrees. I'm in Jackson, Tennessee. Sorry, I was trying to get all my thoughts together. Uh, so I currently have this uh, little trailer that holds those uh, coils or whatever spindles whatever you want to call them I don't know so I have let's see here this thing saying I'm gonna get there about 715 um, I got about two hours and 11 minutes to go yet miles it's saying I'm just kind of looking around because I'm exploring right now I like uh, never been to Jackson Tennessee so uh, I'm trying to take it all in really interesting I wish I had like cameras around the truck like several of them so I'd be like look at this or you could just like click on a video or a button or whatever you can see a different angle or something because there I, I just feel like there's so much I want to show you guys but I can't I'm not saying there's something to look at here in Jackson <laughs> I'm just saying most of the time when I'm out driving around there's like pretty cool landscape or whatever and or maybe there's something going on behind me. Oh, before I forget, it's been kind of a different day. Uh, before, right at the edge of Alabama and the Mississippi border there, I was driving this uh, 
semi truck put his four ways on, so I was going to go past him. And then the SUV in the fast lane was slowing down pretty fast, as if like they weren't had their foot on the accelerator at all. And you could see through the, the, the back window is like one of them tinted jobs or whatever, but you can still see through it. You could just see them wailing away on each other, just hitting each other. It's like, what the heck? So I uh, got behind the semi truck. I felt like I couldn't pass them fast enough because the vehicle was going side to side. Um, I didn't want to be behind them, didn't want to be beside them. They ended up In three quarters of a mile, turn right, then turn left. They ended up turning off that highway not long after that. So I don't. Like, it wasn't a one sided fight, it was definitely both sides. So I don't. That's about all I know. I couldn't see the people when I passed them or nothing. It was different. Crazy. Um, and then when I was in Tennessee here, see, uh, this is probably more common. I seen this truck that was pulled over, a uh, pickup truck. It had a couple young guys uh, standing outside. They're both getting pat down by the police. So I can't remember what Podine Town that was, but. It, couple boys getting in trouble. Turn right, then turn left. Turn right. It wants me to turn right, right there. And then I'd end up... This is stupid. Oh. It wants me to go on this dang highway, I think. Let's see. Yeah, there's a the highway. In one quarter mile, turn left. That's okay, we'll take some back streets. Since we got a short trailer. Come on buddy, accelerate. Oh, there's a flight, that's why they... I wanna get over, but there's like a line of cars. Get the trailer. I can't pass him because he's not giving me the room. Turn left. Got my turn signal on now. Maybe the truck behind him. No, nope. ain't gonna slow up. No, everybody's passing. It's jerks. I swear. Ah. I mean, is this a big city? Because. I'm feeling that hospitality. Not everybody in the city is like that, but I mean, it's more of a fend for yourself type thing in cities, it seems like. Still got a slow car right beside me, I think. I need to turn right there according to the GPS. We're going to turn right here. Trailer's still behind me. Right. Turn left, then turn left. Now the GPS wants me to go back that way. We're gonna go this way. Alright, I stopped at this four week stop first, and then I got decided he was gonna go. Turn left, then turn right. This definitely feels like a city. Turn right, then turn right. Turn right, then turn right. And there's some folks just... Turn here. right. Why are making too much noise? Got my Red Bull for today.
after I drop this thing off. Alright guys, it is currently 8.46 p.m. It's 21 degrees outside and that would be still like Alabama's time. I'm in Minor, Missouri. That's where I am. I'm at the place right now. I just, well it's actually 7.46 p.m. their time. Sorry, it's 8.46 p.m. Ohio time. I leave the truck set for Ohio time. It could change by itself, but I got it set up to where it doesn't change so that way I know what time it is because you know you get kind of jet lag or whatever if you go real far west from the east coast or vice versa you know what I mean you get out of whack and it's kind of nice to know what time your body's running off of anyways the load is unhooked um, I was looking for loads but I don't think anybody's gonna any dispatch is going to work with me to give me anything, which, you know, it's Saturday night, so I get it. I did send an email to the dispatch saying I delivered and told them about the hookup or whatever because they talked about reimbursing me or whatever. So hopefully, even though I didn't get an adapter and I made my own, they'll still hook me up. I'll be really sad if they don't. Um, right now I'm getting ready to set up the GPS to go home because otherwise I'm going to be stuck doing nothing till Monday and who knows maybe there'll be something close to home on uh, Monday or whenever I start back up because you know I just if I'm going to be down I'd rather be down at home I don't know if that's really a great decision or what proceed to highlighted route I just don't see a point of staying out here it wouldn't be so bad if I had something lined up Monday and I would just go out there you know what I mean but I do not 